the current in a coil is dropping from 3.5 amps to 2 amps in half of a second. During that process, there is an induced EMF equal to 12 millivolts. We are asked to determine the self-inductance, which is symbolized by L. Now, Faraday's law basically tells us that when the current in a coil changes by either decreasing or increasing, there will be a self-induced EMF, which we can find by this equation here. The Question again notes that we seek the self-inductance, so we have to solve this equation for L. We can do that by first rewriting the equation here on the side. And we will solve for L by first multiplying both sides of the equation by delta T. The delta T's will cancel out on the right-hand side. And then we will solve for L by dividing both sides by negative delta I. So the negatives and the delta i's cancel out. On the right-hand side, we have our expression for the inductance. It's the time interval times the induced EMF divided by negative change in current. Now, it may be helpful to rewrite the change in current as final current minus initial current, because those are the values that were given in the question. So in parentheses, we'll have the final current minus the initial current. And now all we do is plug in the known values. The delta T, the time interval, was given as half of a second. The self-induced EMF, EMF was 12 millivolts. Notice you have to take 12 and multiply it by 10 to the minus 3 to get it into volts. Divided by negative parentheses, the final current, the final current was 2 amps. The initial was 3.5. So we'll come down here and type in or write in 2 amps minus 3.5 amps. We punch this into our calculators and we end up with 0.004 and the standard unit of inductance is the Henry. If your homework system requires millihenries, then we can do a conversion. We take the 0.004 Henry's, we multiply by the fact that 1 millihenry is 10 to the minus 3 Henry's. So basically you end up dividing the 0 0.004 Henry's by 10 to the negative 3. When you do that, the Henry's will cancel out and you're left with 4 millihenry's. And this would be the correct answer to the question.